afternoon, Philippines. Good afternoon, Albay. It's Monday, May 17, 2021. I am Cecily Daya. And I am Trixie Contado. This, this is, is Albay TV Media, Media News Center. Center. Serving you the hot and the most leading news of the hour. Your news are business. <laughs> updates about COVID-19 cases in Albay. To give us more details, let's have News Patroller Danny Casario. The Department of Health Beagle has logged 107 new coronavirus disease cases in the region on Wednesday, May 12. The official Facebook page of DOH Beagle posted an update on the new coronavirus cases in the region on May 13, 2021. The bulletin shows 107 additional recorded cases in the region, resulting to a total of 2,866 active cases. Of the 107 infected individuals, 23 came from Albay, 20 from Kamsur, 30 from Asbate, 4 from Sorsogon, 29 from Naga City, and 1 from others. 18 of the infected are admitted to the hospital, and the remaining 89 are still quarantined. Out of the provinces, Albay accumulated the third most number of new cases with 23. It reduced four compared to the May 11 reported number of cases. Of these 23 cases, 16 are from Legazpi City, 2 from Daraga, 2 from Ginabatan, 1 from Bakakai, 1 from Libon, and 1 from Ligao City. The latest report issued 12 new recoveries and 2 new deaths. These added to the total 664 number of recoveries and 63 numbers of deaths in the province. Avelino continues the call for public attention and concern to prevent the spread of the virus. Sa pangunguna ng aming regional director na si Director Ernie Vera, kami po ay nananawagan sa lahat ng Bicolano, mahalin po natin ang ating rehiyon, mahalin po natin ang ating sarili. Kasi kapag minahal natin ng tunay ang ating sarili, minamahal na rin natin ang ating kapwa-tao. Dahil pangangalagaan natin na hindi tayo mahawa. Ang kasagutan po ng COVID-19, alam po natin at alam na natin kung paano gawin. Ang kailangan na lang natin po ay isa ugali at isa buhay natin ang bawat preventive measures para po maprotektahan ang ating minamahal na rehiyon na tawag ay Bicol or Ibalon. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Meanwhile, the local government units of Albay have been constantly reminding their residents to observe and follow proper health protocols to lessen the increasing number of cases in the said province. This is Tani Casario, Albay News Media Center. Meanwhile, vaccination in Puerto Rico Albay is still ongoing. Here again is Dani Casario to give us more. Email. The local government of Puduran conducts second dose of vaccination for A1 priority groups last Thursday, May 13 at the Municipal Covered Court. As of May 5, 2021, the municipality records a total of 129 A1 priority members composed by frontline health workers who received the second dose of the vaccine. From the A2 priority group, 112 seniors received the first dose and are still waiting for their scheduled second dose of vaccination. Last May 13, the RHU Puduran official Facebook page posted an update on the holiday vaccination program of the municipality showcasing a successful wrap-up of another batch of A1 priority groups who received the second dose of Sinovac. It was conducted on the municipal covered court led by municipal health care workers with the theme, Res Bakuna Kasangga ng Bida. Days before the vaccination program, the municipality opened slots for another batch of vaccination among A1, frontline health workers, A2, senior citizens, and A3, persons with comorbidities with the new AstraZeneca vaccine. Details about the aid have been posted along with the announcement. 
the local government urges those who are concerned to reach out to their respective barangay health center to be guided in the process of the vaccination. On the other hand, there is still no scheduled date for the new batch. The municipal government encourages every concerned citizen to look out for future announcements on their official sites. Danny Casario, Albay News Media Center. That is Danny Casario for our COVID-19 updates. Thank you, Danny. For our next top story, the Commission on Higher Education has approved limited face-to-face -face classes for clerkship of Bicol University College of Medicine. Nika, what's the news? The Commission in Higher Education approved the limited face-to-face -face classes for clerkship of Bicol University College of Medicine on May 5, 2021. In response to this, the Chad Composite Evaluation Team, led by Dr. Prospero E. Devere III, Chad and Universal Access to Quality Tertiary Education Chairperson, together with Unifast Officer in Charge Executive Director, Attorney Ryan L. Estevez, Chad Commissioner and BU Board of Region Chair Dr. Aldrin A. Darila and Chad Regional Office 5 Director Dr. Freddy T. Bernal have visited the Bicol University College of Medicine to look into the readiness of the said college, which includes the provision for strict compliance to health and safety protocols for limited face-to-face -face classes in the next semester. Health-related degree programs such as medicine, nursing, medical technology or medical laboratory science, physical therapy, midwifery, and public health were prioritized to have limited face-to-face -face classes. It is mainly because through face-to-face -face learning, students can be provided with key learning outcomes on specialized laboratory courses and hospital-based clinical clerkship. Hindi natin pwedeng gawing virtual yung skills-based training Kasi yung paghiwa ng balat, pagtahi, paglagay ng hiringgilya, pag-extract ng dugo, hindi mo naman pwedeng panuunin niyang sa video, tapos alam mo na. So there is urgency to allow them some limited face-to-face -face because we have to increase the supply of health professionals. According to Devera, the conduct of face-to-face -face classes is limited only to hands-on activities providing skill-based training for the students that are essential in the actual practice, which cannot be learned virtually. In addition to his statement, there is an urgency to allow them to limit the face-to-face because there is a need to increase the supply of health professionals as our country is still battling the COVID-19 pandemic. Last March 23, 2021, the Chad B. Cole released an approval regarding the limited face-to-face -face classes, but along with this is the close monitoring and inspection of the institutions in order to provide safe and healthy spaces for their students. Bicol University College of Medicine Dean Dr. Luis Domingo Mendoza led the evaluators for the inspection together with Bicol University College of Nursing Dean Dr. Maria Bernardita A. Palacio, showing the College of Medicine's facilities and equipment. On the other hand, the Vera reminded him to keep the windows open and maximize social distancing. He also advised the College of Medicine Dean to implement a designated one-way direction to avoid bumping with each other. The Vera suggested putting up posters to remind students of the protocols. We advise that we still have to follow strictly the mm -hmm. IATF protocol. According to Arnulfo Mascarinas, President of Bicol University, they will ensure that the health and safety protocols mandated by the IATF will be strictly followed. The limited face-to-face -face classes will start in Bicol University College of Medicine next semester. This is Nika Maliate reporting. Thank you, Nika. For the last top story of the day, due to unpaid electricity bills in Rapa Rapa Albay, Abic will be forced to cut off powers in the municipality and the other barangays in neighboring towns in city, including Barangay Bacolod in Tobacco City. Here is Kate Burlasa for the news. As the amount of electricity bill surges to 7 million pesos in Barangay Bacolod, Tabaco City, Albay, APEC disconnects their distribution transformer, cutting off electrical service in every household. According to a statement released by APEC via their Facebook page, the Power and Energy Corporation disconnects the power service in Barangay Bacolod in May 12, 2021. It was mentioned that out of 400 registered consumers in Barangay Bacolod, only a total of six consumers actively pay their electrical bills. 
Additionally, illegal activities were discovered causing the swelling of unpaid electrical bills in the barangay. Illegal connections to the distribution transformers and power lines were discovered and unregistered meters were tracked causing an undetected electrical record and some consumers were found to have sprayed their electrical meter reading with white paint to avoid being issued with bills. Apex stated that in May 11, the corporation asked for the permission of Salvador da Sir, the barangay captain of Bacolod, to cut off the power supply of 183 delinquent consumers. However, the barangay captain refused, prompting to allegations of tolerance of illegal electrical activities in the barangay. Following the incident in Tabaco City, APEC appeals to the consumers in Rapo Rapo and Batan Islands to settle at least a half of 32 million pesos arrears to avoid power shutdown in May 15, 2021. This is Kate Borlasa reporting. Thank you, Kate. Those are the top stories of the day. I am Trick Pickman and Cecilin Daya. This, this is, is Albay Media News 7. Thank you.